Right off the top, when Kent County detectives arrested a man last year for perjury in the 1981 disappearance of Deanie Peters, it raised hopes that we might finally learn what happened to the Forest Hills Central Middle School student. Now, 10 months after that arrest, the only new development is that the suspect is fighting to dismiss the case. Target 8 investigator Ken Kolker has followed this case for years. He has the latest for us tonight. It's Kent County Assistant Prosecutor Kelly Kotsky who is working the Deanie Peters cold case and whose work led to the perjury charge last year against James Frisbee. It seems obvious that you guys are hoping to put a squeeze on this guy to maybe lead to a, a break in the Deanie Peters case. Is that a fair assessment? I'm not going to... I'm not going to make any comment about uh, the purpose of the perjury charge. It's a separate case. Um, whether or not this individual is involved in the Deanie Peters murder, abduction, or destruction of her body um, really is irrelevant to whether or not he's guilty of perjury. Deanie was 14 in February 1981 when she left her brother's wrestling practice at Forest Hills Central Middle School to use the bathroom. She never returned and her remains have never been found. Then last year, Kent County detectives arrested Frisbee for perjury, the only arrest ever made in the case. In court documents, Frisbee's attorney asked the judge to dismiss the charge, saying there's a difference between lying and having a bad memory. Among the lies the Caledonia man is accused of telling, in 2008, he came forward to tell detectives about a man he suspected could have killed Deanie. But last year, under investigative subpoena, he denied that he ever suspected the man. The assistant prosecutor would not comment directly on the case. I will say that I've worked a lot of cold cases, very old cold cases, and we obviously give people the benefit of the doubt if, uh, as far as their memories go, but we don't write perjuries on those cases unless we have evidence that they are not being truthful, not that they just don't remember. She called the Deanie Peters investigation, quote, still very active. Is there some hope that there will be a resolution? I mean, do, or do you feel like you're getting closer? I'm not going to comment on the progress we've made. I don't want to jeopardize the investigation. We're putting a lot of effort into it with our goal being to bring her home. A hearing is set later this month in Kent County Circuit Court on the perjury case. I'm Target 8 investigator Ken Kolker.